Mona and Destiny, thank you so much for being with me today. It's good to see you. And I am so excited to hear some updates of what's happening in Burlington. You know, I see you on Facebook all the time. So I want to thank you for sharing your life through Facebook. But today we get an opportunity to hear a little bit more. And I, I think we just need to start with, tell me what it was like in Burlington before Getting Ahead was introduced. So I was working um, for Young House Family Services in running the impact program. Um, before Bridges, I would always, I would be serving folks in the community that needed resources. They needed basic needs. Um, they needed to be hooked up with uh, organizations to help meet their needs. Yeah. Um, in that, I was able to hook them up with um, organizations or maybe offer them like a $50 help assistance toward rent. But always um, I would be like, oh, praying that if there was just people that I could put in their life, you know, if I just had this army of folks that would just come alongside these people, um, then their lives could be changed. And so before Bridges, I would always ask for that. And then after Bridges was brought here, that was the missing piece, along with the education, of course, of um, the curriculum, which helps put into words um, what we need to learn to come out of poverty. Um, so that was helpful. And then to have the organizations, the churches, the individuals all working together before Bridges, like churches were in their little silos, organizations were doing their work in their, in their offices. But I feel like it created a community that um, was not here prior to, and in, in so many years I was working in the social service side. Um, so you could see just, it built a lot of community. Thanks. Destiny, how did you get into this? Tell me your story. Um, so, um, I married my husband really young and we had a few kids and, uh, he, he, um, he became an alcoholic and I found myself in a bad situation to, had to take my kids and leave. And I was homeless and jobless and, you know, experienceless. My I'm from Southern Louisiana. So my family's a thousand miles away. I had no one. And, um, one day I had a friend I bumped into at the gas station. She was just like, have you ever heard of Bridges? And I was like, no, she was like, here, take this number. Her name is Miss Mona Ash Collar. And <clears throat> just life changing from day one. Um, I, I don't know. It's it's hard. It's it's honestly indescribable the amount that has personally been done for me in my life through bridges. Um, so my husband was able to get clean. I was educated on a lot of things through the class and like you know the barriers that people who have never been out of poverty like face on a daily basis. You know tyranny of the moment, those hotspot vocabulary words. You just, I never had terms to put on those serious situations that people really do face every single day. Like Mona said, people don't have support. There's all these resources and things and they're just like, you know, to themselves. So like this person, you know, this church can give you a bundle of food and uh, over here you can get a little bit of utility assistance, maybe. But like there was no one that could sit down and be like, well, you can't get food stamps because you don't have an address. But you can go do this at the post office and use that as an address. Um, you know, there was no one that was going to sit down and just be like, here's this collective pool of resources and knowledge for just for you to gain. Like, you know, it's just literally just, um, just so much at your fingertips. Whenever I started Bridges, I was, you know, like I said, I had nothing. And we just, she, she showed me how to slowly build my resources and social capital. I got a good job. My husband got clean. We got back together we found a good place to live. We've been doing really good. And I'm, I mean, I'm one of those people that run around and I tell anyone who's having any kind of problem, you should just come to Bridges. You really should just come with me to Bridges because we can change your life like it. You will find what you need at Bridges. Good. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. 
and and thank you for just helping us see that that you saw hope and through that you continued to build on those resources oh my goodness so i'm going to go back quickly um i follow your fundraising because you do the chairs correct uh, yeah. Can you tell a little bit about that fundraiser? So that was birthed in COVID year when we kind of had, we had, you know, like everybody else had to stop meeting, um, had to kind of be creative. Um, so we, we wanted to raise funds, but we also wanted to have like a little community. So um, one of our board members saw a charity auction online and let us know. And so we just started it that year. And really it has been, we have made funds, but it had been, it has been a lot of fun. Um, we, we have organizations of all types and businesses, churches that take part in that. Um, and our, our families enjoy it and we make it part of our, you know, regular meeting during those couple months that that's running. Um, it just builds a lot of community yeah. and it is so fun. People wait to hear and see what's on the chairs and um, it was really fun. Yeah. And it's we make fun. funds and, and, and especially specifically during those COVID, you know, I, I think it brought us all together where we had something to look forward to, you know? Sure. Yeah. yeah. No, I think it's a great idea. That's why I wanted to give you a chance to talk about it. So what's in the future? What are you seeing? What's happening? What are so we are so excited. There is there is a lot going on. I, I know you've seen our Facebook page, but we have like a whole night of programming now, which is super exciting. Um, we have joined forces with City Hill Foundation. Um, we kind of got really big for our britches. I mean, it's been yeah. a long process, right? And it's been like an avalanche of um, we we grow and then um, we change and we evolve into what we need to be for the community we serve. But um, City Hope and Bridges Join Forces, we came under their umbrella, which was perfect because we have the getting ahead portion and we've created this pathway now. So we have a getting ahead portion, they go 18 weeks and then we graduate and we can go right into the faith and finances, which is a financial literacy for folks on assistance or lower income um and that's that's a 12-week course and so we have this getting ahead then they graduate and go into the faith and finances at the tail end of faith and finances we have a six-week course that we're um, partnering with the goodwill um industries here that um, does like a work experience so um certificates yeah like work and and we tack that onto the back of faith and finances so they're getting this work experience um uh how how to just how to keep a job if you have um uh arguments at work or stress at work like how do you how do you mm -hmm. stay focused and keep working towards your goals those kind of things are going to be covered at that last part of it so we also have a celebrate recovery um 12-step study for addiction services that meets on our Tuesday night and we have our Bridges kids. So we have all of those programs going on in one night where we provide the meal, the transportation and the childcare um, with our Bridges kids. It's a full program in itself where we're using the past curriculum that is an evidence-based curriculum and we geared it toward how we need it. It's, it's a school curriculum that's made for aggressive behaviors and things in the school system. So we had to kind of change it. So it's a weekly curriculum. Um, we tweaked it it for our usage, you know, um, use, use some of that. And we also offer STEM activities. The library comes um, to give our kiddos this really well-rounded experience and learning. Um, we also are, we started a peer leadership with our older kids this year. Um, cause our bridges kids are coming back and they're becoming our volunteers. Yeah. So we want to start young to help them have those leadership skills. So it's like fourth, fifth grade and up. And we're, we're helping them to become the next leaders of the bridges kids, um, which is exciting. Um, that comes back to, I was, I always worked in, um, with teens earlier on 
And um, that's kind of how I got my start is if, if we could reach these kids that are in trouble, are court ordered to go into the things when they're little and reach their families, then we'll have, you know, they would, they would have a better chance for a, a great future story, you know? So um, when we started this, I wanted it not just to be childcare. I wanted it to be an actual program where these kids are building their resources and that our parents will know that we are in it from the smallest to the biggest, you know, in the family. Um, so that's been, I just want to say like when we graduate getting ahead, um, once those 18 weeks are up, every, every single graduation, you just, everyone's so sad. Everyone's crying. They're like, what am I supposed to do with my Tuesday nights? I don't want to lose my family because we really, we become a family, you know, like, and it's everyone, all 200 of us. Like we just, <laughs> love, we love each other so much. And it's so sad. So like being able to bring faith in finance and the other classes and just like, you know, like she said, a pathway to just keep building the relationship. So, cause you know, a lot of times you do that 18 weeks and then people will fall off and, you know, they don't really reach out as much as they should. They get into a struggle or back into the tyranny of, of the moment. Cause you know, it doesn't matter how good you do, how many resources you have, life still keeps, keeps life on turning, fun. you know? And so a lot of people will just like fall off and not show up to the big meet on our first Tuesday of the month and things like that. But having that next 12 weeks of faith and finance and having the um, little program with that, we the little thing we have going on with um, Goodwill and stuff. Mm -hmm. I just think that it just, it really keeps the community bonded. It keeps us together. It keeps people coming back. Cause you know, after that 18 weeks, you're just sad. You're like, this is over. I'm so sad. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Ben. Yeah. Wonderful staying ahead options. Yeah. Well, thank you both for taking the time and, you know, go Burlington, Iowa. Uh, we'll continue to watch and see what's happening there. And good luck to you as you move forward. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah.